Hi, this is just a video to share this low C extension that I made for a LeBlanc 342 straight contrabass clarinet. So for the most part, this extension is, as you can see, 3D printed. Uh, the pads are made of just pieces of felt and cork wrapped around in a bunch of Teflon tape. And surprisingly, it seals quite well, so it's quite awesome. And and for the fingerings, unfortunately, it would have been way too complicated to try and link up the actual extension to the low E flat key. So unfortunately, you're gonna have to finger it everything below low E flat by holding down low E flat and then adding. It's sort of like on a low C bass clarinet. We have a D and then a C sharp, and then a C. So you finger low E flat, and then you press them with your thumbs. And so the extension actually works, actually works by these long rods. It actually has to travel quite far, especially the low D has to go from all the way up here down to the lowest pad down there. And I think there's like one other example of a low C LeBlanc 342 and they used actual metal, metal key work except on that one they they had all the keys all the linkages like at each tone hole and not all bunched together I think this design where they're all bunched together really helps because it's a lot easier to disassemble it when they're all just lined up in one place and you don't have to worry about lining them up each separately so yeah, also if if needed, I did make a little peg, peg receiver, so you could put on a peg, but I don't see why you would be doing that. And yeah, there's also, and also for the low C, I did make a tone hole for it to vent, to vent it instead of venting it from the bell. However, you can take this off and just vent it from the bell but I don't really like the sound of that. And also there is a shorter option. So you could have a shorter tube instead of the long tube, but the long tube gives you the optional low B if you were to cover it up and try it. So you have your low, low, low B, low C. And you could kind of get a low B. greatest low B ever but it's there and because you, you can also take take it off and use the shorter tube I don't think there's much of a tonal difference between the long tube and the shorter tube but it's an option I think the shorter tube looks a little better cosmetically because the long tube kind of just obscures your right hand keys so the shorter tube and you could just take it off and only have the bell but it's a I think I think the sound doesn't it doesn't bark as much with only the bell it's a little more rumbly and less clear So yeah, uh, this extension is completely removable. None of it is like actually modifying the instrument itself. Like this key, these keys can be just unclipped from the instrument. They're basically held on with clips. And this middle section is actually, they're actually, they're not welded. They're not, they're, these are two separate pieces. The extension itself and the key, key mechanism, they are two different parts and they're connected here in the middle by a little puzzle piece type of hook. So when you disassemble it, you kind of just, you disassemble the bottom, the actual extension part first, and then you unclip the keys and to assemble it, you do the opposite. You put the keys on first and then you assemble, or like you assemble the actual extension. So yeah, that's this low C extension that I built for this LeBlanc 342. I don't think anyone's done this 
to this extent yet, but yeah. Um, I'm planning on trying to make one for a veto in the near future, and I think I'll just copy this design with some minor adjustments to come for the way thicker exterior bore of the veto. So yeah, thank you very much, and I hope you have a great day.